places in western Nepal have already established themselves as the prominent tourist destinations. Western Nepal has beautiful mountain ranges, regions carved by high and mid hills, rivers and valleys along with the settlement of diverse ethnic groups. Natural, cultural and religious settings of the Western Nepal are important from the perspective of tourism and touristy. Lumini, known to the world as the birthplace of Lord Buddha and the adjoining areas attached to Lord Buddha, is deemed as the major tourist destination. Lumini has gained a towering status not only as a sacred place of religious importance but also the tourism point of view. Precisely, Lumini has been listed as the World Heritage Site and is also seen as the center for world peace. Our name is Samuel Ghosh. We have come from Calcutta. I have heard that there is a place of Dodev. We have come to see it. We have come to see it. We have come to see it. My name is Keshav Dahal. I am Guwahati. बुद्ध जन्म का ठाउ अब सब पहले था ही चाहो अब बुद्ध बनने अब विश्व को विख्यात एक जना महापुरुष भगवान ही मानचंद सब इले तेरे बार वहाँ लाए वहाँ को जन्म स्थल हैर ना आको Lumbini is 326 kilometers away from the capital city Kathmandu, while 167 kilometers from Pokhara, and the sacred place is just 25 kilometers away from the Belaya border of India. One can also fly directly to Bhairava Siddhartha Nagar from Kathmandu in half of an hour, and Lumbini is 22 kilometers away from Bhairava. Disposed to treat guests and visitors with cordiality and generosity, there are sophisticated hotels and good lodges in Pairawa and Butwal to provide good facilities to the visitors and for those visitors who are willing to stay in Lumini, accommodations of all sorts are available, ranging from sophisticated hotels to the usual ones. The first terminus for visitors to Lumbini is Maya Devi Temple, or in other words, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. Around 249 BC, the great emperor from India, Ashoka, visited Lumbini, offered prayers at the birthplace of Buddha, and established a Chaitya. To keep the memory of his visit to Lumini alive, Ashoka also installed a pillar on the east to the temple and constituted inscriptions. As per the letters engraved, Ashoka visited the birthplace of Buddha during the 25th year of his kingship and even introduced some tax relief programs to the denizens of Lumini. On the temple premises, there is a five-foot tall statue of Lord Buddha's mother, Maya Devi. In the sculpt, Maya Devi is standing and holding a vine of peepal tree. The fig tree is noted for great size and longevity and is regarded as sacred by Buddhists and the newborn Buddha is with his mother, also accompanied by Buddha's parent, Prajapati Gautami. चार धाम मध्य से पहले धाम हो लूमिनी जहाँ तथागत भगवान बुद्ध बुद्धि सत्त्व सिद्धार्थ को रूप में संज्ञान में लिया हुआ है महामाया देवी महाप्रजापति गौतमी कुलिया कन्या थीं वहाँ कोई ब्याह महाराजा सुदोधन संग बाको थियो ती वेला में से किए चलन थियो बंदा हरी पहले बच्चा जन्म उन्हें माइते जाने पड अन्य माये देवी से आपनों राज्य दरबार कपिल वस्तु तिलोरा कोर देखी से आपनों माये ता देवदा वन से हिन्नु भाया माये देवी से लुमिनी साल वन में से बिस्राम को लाई से यह पर रोकिनु भाया रोकी से बसी युपहरी को पानी पिए रा वहाँ से कई पायला से उत्तर र पूर्व कुना महीनी से बसी बेथालार से तथागत भगवान बुद्ध बोधि� पुलारु से बरसाना थाले, 
अनि भगवान बुद्ध सात पाइला हिने सहिपछि तीन शब्द सिंहनाद गर्नु भयो बोल्नु भयो अग्गो हमास मिलो कस जेष्ठ हो हमास मिलो कस श्रेष्ठ हो हमास मिलो कस अयम अन्तिमा जाति नथि दाने पुनः भ भन्ने उनले चाहिँ सिंहनाद गरे This temple has its relations with the sacred pond as well. The pond lies on the southern side of the temple. It is the same place where Queen Maya Devi born Siddhartha Gautama and where she had taken a bath. It is also believed that she had taken rest under the nearby Bodhi tree. Following the visit to Maya Devi temple, visitors get chance to trade Lumini garden which is spread across 1100 bighas. Teller river flows through the sacred garden. The Buddhist Bihar and Shantideep, whose flame burns all 24 hours as a symbol of world peace, appears sensational in appearance or thrilling. With the permission from Lumbini Development Fund, different cultural sites and religious places are being built up. More than 22 states have constructed monasteries and trusters in a bid to spread the message of Buddhism and also to highlight their national and cultural heritages. Thousands of visitors come every day just to take a look of temples and monasteries. Near to the Lumbini Garden, a museum has been established with the financial assistance of Japan along with the Buddhist Religion Research Center, which is expected to be transformed as an international research center down the road. Attached to Lumbini is Kapil Bastu to Laura Court, where Siddhartha spent 29 years of his princely life before he became Gautam Buddha and the ancient city of Sakyas. Tulawa Court is at the distance of 26 kilometers from Lumbini, which means an hour's drive in one's private vehicle. Although there are just excavated remains of the palace of Sakyas in Tulawa Court, the ardent follower of Buddhism view it as a place of ideological and philosophical importance. During the excavation and explorations of the archaeological site in Tilaura Court, several ancient archaeological remains and relics have been unearthed, including the remains of houses, security walls of the ancient palace, metal utensils, among others. To the north, there are the remains of two chaityas. Those two chaityas are said to be constructed in the memory of King Suddhodan and his queen. The other Ashok pillar is in Nigli Hawa, which is 8 kilometers north to Tilaura Kot. Buddhist scholars believe that there are about 156 sites attached to Buddha just inside Nepal, including Gotihawa, Sagarhawa, Aurora Coat, Shisniya, and the maternal house of Buddha inside Lumbini area known as Ram Gram. Only protections and preservations of these areas allows us to jubilantly pronounce that Nepal is the country where Buddha was born, or else forgers would take no less time to alter the birthplace of Buddha. Mm -hmm.